Hi friends and welcome to episode 2 of the Elfcast. Not so live from my backyard now with new and improved foliage in the background. Today is March 25th. It's the Feast of the Annunciation, the day on which we remember the angel Gabriel coming to Mary and saying, will you carry the Christ child into the world? Last week at the Catechumenate, we meet on Wednesdays. We'll be meeting later on after this recording. I remember that a few years ago, I heard a critique on YouTube of this story. And the critic was making the case that uh, the Mary's pregnancy, Angel Gabriel coming to her, was an example of what in literature and fantasy and myth and science fiction is called a mystical pregnancy. So this is when a woman becomes pregnant by some kind of magic. So a spirit, an alien, who knows what, descends into her life and makes her pregnant. I guess this happens to Deanna Troy, if you are a Star Trek The Next Generation fan. And the critic argued that the mystical pregnancy strips the woman of any kind of agency. She doesn't get control over her life. Guess what? You are pregnant. And she argued that this story, as we find it in Luke, is still another example of patriarchy, of holding women in contempt, of denying their agency of, uh, of them as actors in their own life. And I thought about this critique a bunch, and I thought, well... The author would be right, the critic would be right, except for one thing, and that is consent. And when we go listen to the story of the Annunciation, we realize that none of it proceeds until Mary says yes, until Mary says to the angel, let it be with me according to your word. Yes, I'm going to participate in this adventure that you are inviting me into. So one of the things we learn in this story is God absolutely wants us to say yes to God. God absolutely wants us to participate in the kingdom. God absolutely wants our obedience, if that is not too old-fashioned a word. But God will not coerce us. God gives us this absolutely free choice to say yes or to say no, to say, let it be with me according to your word. In this radically patriarchal culture, Mary gets to decide that she is going to bear the Christ child, that she's going to bring Jesus into the world without consulting a man and without involving a man. So not only does this maybe not strip away her agency, but maybe it shines a light on it and says, you are free to make your choice. Mary, you are free to make your choice to participate in the kingdom as you wish. And the story does um, invite the question, as more than one cheeky preacher have wondered, how many women did Gabriel go to before he found one who would say yes? Friends, I miss uh, getting to see all of you. I miss bumping into you in the hallway. I miss going to coffee with you and seeing it, you in your homes. I realize what a privilege those conversations are and what a joy they are to me and how much it sucks that we don't get to have that time together right now. Shoot me an email, martine at grace-memorial.org and let's set up a phone call. I'd love to visit with you at least virtually. And I hope to see you on a screen and not so long after that in person really soon. Bye-bye.